What if I told you that DoorDash is now requiring its employees to do one dash a month and that's including the CEO? Well, remove the if from that statement and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So, stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with The Rideshare Guy. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about something arguably controversial, but I personally think it's a good thing. But as I mentioned in the intro, apparently DoorDash is requiring all of its employees, including engineers and executives in the company, to do at least one dash a month. And some employees are not taken too kindly to that fact. Now, before we go any further, you probably want to know some details about exactly what I'm talking about. So we're actually going to read a little from the article to cover this issue to begin with, the SF Gate article. So this is the uh, controversial tweet which has started all of this. So we're going to actually take a look at the article. Once again, this is from SFGate. And if uh, you want to check out the article, it will be linked in the uh, description. So the title of the article is San Francisco-based DoorDash is requiring engineers to deliver food. And they are furious, with, which says a lot in itself. <laughs> DoorDash, the food delivery app based out of uh, San Francisco, is requiring all its non-delivery employees, including the CEO, to do a dash once a month, and some employees are seemingly furious. I find it interesting that they're getting so heated over this. As an engineer with a reported total compensation, or TC, of $400,000 a year griped about the responsibility of having to do a once a month delivery. What the actual, well, you see the word, the engineer wrote on the platform. I didn't sign up for this. There was nothing in the offer letter job description about this. Well, you know, may maybe there should be some amends that take place on the contract. I'm, I'm just saying. While some people replied to the original post to say it would be helpful or a helpful opportunity to develop empathy and learn about the myriad frustrations of delivery workers, Others sided with the original poster. Not acceptable in any way, said someone. For employees unable to do deliveries, there are other programs in place to work with service employees and businesses. The program was launched, a spokesman person said, to learn firsthand how the technology products we build empower local economies, which in turn help us build a better product. I agree with that. I think this could work for the long term and short term when it comes to research and development. Employees then gain credits through these services, which are reportedly built into an annual review. The money employees make during deliveries will be donated to a nonprofit, the spokesman said. Hmm, well, that was a mouthful. Not because, not necessarily that it was a long article, but just the content in the article. And like I mentioned before, that article is linked in the description. And I would also recommend to check out the original tweet, which is also linked in the description. And uh, if you have some free time, check out some of the uh, responses to this tweet because uh, they're pretty interesting and a uh, borderline comical. Now that you know the full context of the situation, we would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this new policy and do you feel it could improve the Dasher experience? I personally think it's a good thing because I like to compare it to, this might be a little uh, controversial, but uh, more or less video games. A lot of people actually say that more people who develop these video games should play them because they can't really see what happens in certain situations. They don't really have a good grasp on the experience and how it could be improved because all they were doing was working on it. They haven't actually experienced it. Well, I take that same approach with this and I would even make it a more amplified approach because money is involved. Now, I personally do like dashing for DoorDash, but there are some things that could be improved to make the experience better. And it's one thing to hear feedback from drivers about, let's say the app is glitching out or you want to get paid more for wait time or just having to deal with issues with the experience in general. I personally would, this opens the door for so many crazy things that I'm thinking about it. Like what if employees end up getting deactivated from DoorDash? How would that exactly be handled? I have so many questions, but honestly, I think this is a good thing because they'll get a chance to experience what we actually experience. And some of the feedback that we give, I think it will hold more weight since they will have to be in our shoes and really see how that ends up playing out, how it affects our earnings, how it affects the time we spend on a delivery, which indirectly affects our earnings. Little things like that, 
I think it'll go a long way towards them actually making the improvements based on our feedback if they can actually be in our shoes every once in a while. And I personally would like to see this policy adapted to all the gig companies, if we're going to be honest. Of course, some people may not like that, but if it makes a better product for the customers and for the drivers slash shoppers, then it should make the company more money. And if that's the case, in my mind, I think the policy could be justified, even if some people go into it a little grudgingly. With that being said, that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, especially comments, I'd love to hear what y'all have to think about this. Leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't signed up for DoorDash and have an interest in doing so, you can do so using the link in the description or in the pinned comment. We publish new videos every single week, so don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we drop our next video. And give this video a thumbs up if you found value in it. This has been Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe. Be profitable.